All right, let's zoom in a bit by holding Alt and just scrolling in with the mouse wheel. And now we have our HDR image on top, once again, just because of the way we selected when we brought them in. And then we're gonna just tone this back. So again, bring the opacity down until we get a nice, subtle look to our HDR image. And the only thing with this is that in this particular image, I actually wanna retain all of the HDR, or at least 80% of it, when it comes to the sky. And you know what, I'm gonna go up to 90%. So we're retaining almost all of the sky detail, only showing 10% of basically the underlying image. But for the rocks and for really everything else, I want to retain mostly the uh, basically the original image. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab uh, our layer mask, and instead of basically dropping in a blank layer mask, I'm going to hold down Alt or Option on a Mac, click layer mask so it comes in basically completely black. Okay, now we're just going to grab a brush. I'm going to shrink the size of this. And then we're going to paint white in in the area that we want to actually reveal. Now I'm going to paint this in at 100% opacity, but making sure my brush hardness is down at zero. And we're just going to paint this in a sky. And again, that's painting in 90% of our HDR file. All right. So you can see how easy that actually was. With images like this that have very strong and simple horizon lines, this blending technique uh, is actually very, very simple because we don't have to worry about really anything on the horizon. Uh, that's kind of jutting out essentially. All right, so I'm just going to remove it a little bit from underneath, just kind of refine a little bit. The other way you can do this as well is by doing a, grady, uh, a graduated brush. So I can also do the exact same thing just by pulling down the sky and uh, actually I need to go the other way. And basically we're just revealing underneath using this graduated mask or kind of graduated paintbrush. All right, so it's also a really nice way to, to do it because it creates a very subtle transition between these two effects. And we can even refine that by simply grabbing the brush and then painting over certain areas that we don't want to uh, have the HDR look to them. All right, so this is actually looking pretty solid. Now let's take a look. Let's see if that blend looks good. We might want to tone back the blend a little bit. So maybe up to like 80% is probably a better number than 90, just to give it a little more of a natural look to that blend. All right, from this point, we are essentially done with the uh, Photoshop processing. I might want to just zoom in or basically just check to make sure I don't have anything that I want to Photoshop out, make sure I don't have any retouch items. So let's hit Alt, Control, Shift, E, and that's Option, Command, Shift, E on a Mac. Let's zoom in and check this out. This cloud right here, or whatever this is, it might actually even be a piece of dust or something on the camera. It looks kind of like a birdie, and uh, <laughs> it's kind of distracting. So let's subtract this guy out. And you can see it defaults back to our previous brush that we're using, which is great because it gives us that nice natural look when we're retouching that object out. All right, zooming across the sky. I don't really see too much else. Generally, I like to work in my images from left to right, bottom to top, so kind of in that order, but uh, I'm going a little out of order right now. Okay, this looks good. Let's check out down here. See if there's anything in the rock or anything right here. I might want to remove these campers. I think I will actually, because if I blow this up, I don't really want to have campers in my on my wall. All right. Whoops. Let's just grab this guy, a little pagoda. I don't know what that is actually. Is it a pagoda? Pagoda. That's a funny word. I like that word. Okay. Let's do that here too. And you know, with these kind of effects, you can uh, when we're zoomed in like this, you're like, oh, that's not quite perfect, but dude. When you're looking at it from like a normal distance, it will not be noticeable at all. And even from like, even if I didn't tell you or if you didn't see that it was retouched, if you were to zoom in like this, you would not think twice about it. So make sure with certain things like this, you're not spending too much time doing things that really are not noticeable. This little boat right here is going to be noticeable. So let's take this guy out. All right. Starting to look pretty solid. I keep getting the beeping. I don't know if this is boat. This looks like a rock or something. I keep getting that error because I keep accidentally alt clicking. By the way, when using the spot healing tool, all that's telling you is that when you're using the spot healing tool, you don't need to sample because it automatically samples for you. Basically, I just forget that I'm on that tool. Okay. This is looking pretty solid. I might remove this little fleck right here. You can see kind of how anal I am about this kind of stuff. It actually kind of bothers me. Bother. I said that funny. Okay. 
Ah, I keep forgetting I'm on spot removal. Okay, that's looking pretty solid. Really, it's it's any of these uh, super white rocks. You know, these are the kind of the ones that I'm I, I want to avoid just because any of these bright, bright, highlighty type rocks are gonna demand a lot of attention, even though they're really small. They start to look like, especially when they go to print, they look like little flecks on your canvas, like little flecks of dust or something that was accidentally printed onto the canvas. So just removing them is a little bit easier. All right, this is looking solid. My computer's still beeping at me. Okay, this is looking really good right now. So let's save this out. We're gonna jump back into Lightroom where we're gonna do our final finishing touches. So once this saves, we'll uh, jump out of this video. All right, so we'll see you guys in just a second.